Let's look at other matters. The governor of Katsina State, Diko Rada, has reacted to the recent judgment on local government autonomy by the Supreme Court of Nigeria. The governor was speaking at a special meeting with the members of the state assembly, the local government chairman and the state executive council members over the matter. TVC News correspondent Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. Local government autonomy has remained a delicate issue over the years that has generated a lot of arguments from stakeholders even after the Supreme Court judgment recently. It remains the responsibility of the state government to ensure that resources are used efficiently. I have set up a committee comprising of state, local government and state assembly representatives along with other experts to formulate a way forward. And I tax, the tax is to ensure the people of Katsina State continue to enjoy a public service for their benefits. Many are of the opinion that the joint account did not only slow down governance and development at grassroots, but also succeeded in allowing the governors to toy with the satire structure of government. Although Governor Dikorada disagrees with such mindset, certain examples on how his administration carefully run local government in the last one year Supreme Court judgment has jettisoned a constitutional provision. I will respectfully say that some of us try our best to manage our joint funds in collective approach. When I took office in 2023, about 23 to 24 local governments were ravaged by insecurity. Our concerted efforts have reduced the insecurity to the fringes of the frontline local governments. We could only achieve that by jointly establishing Katana State Community Watch Corps. We must carefully understand the implication of this judgment on how loans will be repaid and how future subsidiary loans agreement will be structured. These are, several, these are severe areas of consideration. It will help for the federal government to clarify this and other matters arising from the judgment. We are midway through a budget cycle designed based on the previous funding agreement. Given that the judgment takes immediate effect, we must understand how our 2024 budget will be affected. Furthermore, the governor also unveils his community development program akin to local government autonomy. The CDP was designed to empower local government from the world level by going directly to communities to get information on their core areas of need and priorities. This was done by establishing a community center in, a very, in every ward, which shall host a community development office for socio-economic development of the areas. This effort tries to strengthen wards and communities to be part of governance and development of their areas. The governor also used the event to sign a supplementary budget of over 27 billion naira into law. Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Kazana.